A Spanish Fort family is now homeless after a fire tore through their home. Firefighters were called to the house on Jesse Road around 7 o'clock this morning. And as WKRG News 5's Blake Brown explains, the fire spread quickly, destroying everything inside the home within minutes. Yeah, all five people inside made it out safely, but it was a close call. Wednesday morning started with a frantic call to 911. Carlos Robinson was inside a Spanish Fort home when he heard his 14 year old nephew moving through the house. I was like, Why are you up so early? And he's a hard sleeper, so he kind of didn't really realize what woke him up. And I looked and I saw smoke and then I saw fire. Uh, first, we got a couple pots and tried to throw it on there, but the smoke was just overwhelming. And uh, then I went out and I thought we had put it out, but then I saw smoke billowing out of the end of his room. He ran back inside to wake his two year old and his 11 year old nephews. His 18 year old niece was also asleep with the fire spreading fast. Just, I was just trying to stay calm and, 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 and you know, not um, inhale any smoke. Everything was just engulfed in flames. But, but thankful you guys are okay. Yes, yes, everybody's okay. That's all that really matters. Spanish Fort Assistant Fire Chief John Shoemaker says they're lucky there was no smoke alarm inside the home. Within minutes, the fire grew as firefighters from Spanish Fort and Daphne battled the blaze. We did have flames coming out of the roof. Um, luckily, it was a blessing. The family was able to wake up and um, exit the house. Everything inside the home is gone, including a cell phone, clothes, and medicine. Now this family is starting over, but the community is already showing their support. The neighbors and people up the street, they got some shoes and some pants and stuff and gave them to them to put on. And somebody gave me a pair of shoes to put on. If you can help the family, we've listed some of those items that are needed on our website at WKRG.com. In Spanish Fort, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.